All right, so we got an 03 GMC Envoy, four-wheel drive. It's the 4.2 liter, the straight six. We got a little bit of a misfire. It was on cylinder four, went ahead and swapped the coils over to cylinder two. I like to jump at least a couple cylinders. Play a little Swaptronics, easy, easy, easy way to diagnose or try. Misfire jumped over to cylinder two, so we know we got a bad coil pack. Went ahead and pulled the spark plugs out, checked the spark plugs, they're worn out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change one coil pack and we're gonna change a set of spark plugs. We're gonna clear everything, take it on test drive, make sure it's good to go. Relatively easy test to try on these things. Verify, this was, this was the history on cylinder four. You see it had 46,000 misfire history. Now current, current, we got nothing. No misfires on that cylinder. Couple misfires, history of 11. No current on three. Now we have a history, get the glare off the screen there. We have a history of 1,332 on cylinder two just since I swapped the coil pack. Here it is, the current misfires. You can see it ramping up and down as it's counting. Misfire history on one is 13, nothing major there. Cylinder four, you can see that was the that was the culprit to begin with. Cylinder five, a little bit of a misfire history, nothing current. Those all could have been. Those are over the drive cycle of the vehicle. So we're right now we're focusing on which one was majorly misfiring, which was four. You know, we'll scroll back up here to two. Now that's two that's misfiring. Again, we can take that coil pack and we can switch to cylinder one. It'll make some cylinder one misfire. Any cylinder we set it on it's going to start misfiring so we know it's the coil pack that's affecting it not the spark plug but the spark plugs are worn so we're going to go ahead and change those out while we're in there change one coil pack and this thing should be on the road again it does have i don't know i'd say 200,000 miles or something on it all right wasn't even close 153,000 miles on it you see the service engine lights on when you drive it the customer's concern was the check engine light was flashing it didn't have any power you're down a cylinder it's a dead dead misfire that coil pack is doing nothing so that check engine light will start flashing once they're they're on the road we're gonna get that taken care of and they're gonna be super happy about it get this thing on the road again it's a 2003 GMC Envoy four-wheel drive with the 4.2 liter. Pretty common for these coils to fail. We do them a lot. We'll come back to it once she's purring. All right. So we figured out which coil pack we need. We're going to go ahead and change the coil pack, and we're going to change the six spark ones while we're in there. cylinder two so what we're gonna do is disconnect that right now and just get it out of our way so we don't accidentally put that back in anytime this is the bad coil pack swap from cylinder four we're gonna go ahead and set that aside so we don't accidentally put it back in Coil packs has a little retainer on the on the pigtail here. Small retainer, you slide the retainer back, push it down, and then slide the retainers off. And the pigtail's off rather. Okay, so we're gonna go down and change all those spark plugs. Oh, 
one's done, and now we'll just do them one by one. And we'll come back when we, we got all these coil packs off. All right, we're back. We've got all these coil packs off. We use our trusty Pittsburgh Pro double ended ratchet here. I love this thing. You know, a lot of people say don't buy Harbor Freight, but lifetime warranty and this thing gets us in tight places and great for around the house. Lots of leverage. We're gonna pull all these plugs out. Let's see what we got inside. Looks like we got a little bit of a valve cover leak. Have to address that at a later date. On today's menu is just getting this thing running smooth. Customers got to get back to getting to work on Monday. We'll reschedule for that valve cover gasket. A little bit of oil down here, down in here. I don't know if we can see that. Those plugs are pretty worn. AC Delcos. 153,000 miles. There's a good chance these are the original spark plugs. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace them with AC Delco Uradiums. We're gonna use an AutoZone coil pack. Not that I had an option. I was the only one that had it in town today. So we'll get all these spark plugs changed out and we'll come right back. Okay, we got the spark plugs in. I don't work the spec. I'm gonna drop these coil packs back in here. And again, we set the bad one to the side, so we'll grab the grab the new AutoZone special here. Last coil pack. Not a bad looking unit. It's gonna work. If it works. Better off than the old one. But we're gonna go ahead and put this back in cylinder four. Where the affected bad coil was before. And of course we'll just put the rest of them back where they came from. We'll put two back in its original slot. It doesn't really matter which one you put it back into. I could have put it in two, I could have put it in one. Realistically, I probably could have put it as far back as possible. And then, if another coil pack goes bad, they're gonna be farther forward and easier to access. But it doesn't really matter at all. It's about the same to get to. Number one has a wire loom above it. You gotta move out of the way before you get to the bolt, the retaining bolt. That's not really a big deal. Love these Milwaukee electric tools. This is a Milwaukee quarter inch. Put some miles on this one. The three eighths I have is brand new. I have one at work, and I bought, I bought another one for the house. I actually upgraded my my quarter inch to a snap-on unit. Snap-on is a new quarter inch. Thing with that is it spins a lot faster. I would imagine the torque rating is probably higher too. 
it's 14.4 volts over this 12 volt. So those are all back in. We're all plugged back on. We can get this air box reinstalled and then we'll go inside and fire up the scanner and we'll see what the difference is. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go back to previous vehicles. You will listen to those blend doors move, apparently. Vehicle history. We're gonna pick the 03 GMC. I'm gonna click continue. Key is on. Sorry for the unsteady camera work there, using my cell phone. We're gonna click codes menu. We're going to clear the codes because we now fix the misfire. Codes have been cleared successfully. If codes persist, try again, key on, engine off. Engine is off right now. We're gonna click continue. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to functional tests. Negative. We're gonna go to data display, not functional tests. We're gonna go to misfire data. We're gonna get the glare off the camera. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down. Cylinder 2 had a little bit of a hiccup there. Again, when we pulled those spark plugs out, we may have dropped a little bit of that oil that was sitting from the valve cover went down the cylinder, so that had to burn out for a second there. We're going to come back at a later date and do that valve cover. So we're looking at current misfires. Misfire, cylinder 2, see it's smoothed out. There's no misfires now. Cylinder 3, no misfires. Cylinder four, no misfires. Cylinder five, had a little hiccup that probably had oil down the cylinder on that one. No misfires now. Cylinder six, see about the same time, they all had about the same, the same little hiccup all the way up. I think that was, there was oil down inside the cylinders. Give it that, that pre-lube. Anyways, that's a quick little little tune-up misfire diagnosis on a 03 GMC Envoy, the 4.2 liter straight six. It's pretty common on these. We do a lot of coil packs, uh, spark plugs, lack of maintenance. Like I said, this thing has 153,000 miles on it. Probably has never had a tune-up. Customer bought the car used, no history, doesn't know a lot about it. Well, there we are, misfires are gone. She runs really smooth. If you remember correctly, number four was counting like crazy. So we'll go out and we'll take this thing on a test drive. And we'll uh, give her back to the customer. Schedule an appointment to do some more services later on down the road. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got to get to a thousand subscribers. YouTube kind of made us jump through some hoops, but we'll get there. One video at a time. Later, people. Rinchin' Rhino out.